Hello, my name is Wallace Collins and I'm an entertainment lawyer and I've been asked to speak just briefly about collaboration agreements, in this case songwriters. So under the copyright law, when two or more people get together to create a song, or even if they're remote and they decide that one writes the music and sends it to the other to write a lyric or whatever, they agree to collaborate, when the expression of their idea is fixed in a tangible medium, they've created a copyright. The question is, how do you divide this copyright between the parties? The way the court cases have gone generally in the absence of a written agreement, they split it evenly between the writers. So two writers, they divide it 50-50. Three writers, three ways. Four writers, four ways. Without regard to lyrics versus music, or without regard to hook is more valuable than the verse, or vice versa, or who wrote more in proportion to the other. Generally, when it comes to songs, the decision is made to simply um, divide it equally among the writers. So if there's a situation where there's either a superstar artist or a superstar writer or a more um, prominent party that's going to write with a lesser party and they want to divide it differently than evenly, maybe 80-20 or 60-40, the parties need to get something in writing. It can be very simple. It can be a simple pie chart or just a piece of paper that says we hereby agree to divide it as follows and names and percentages. But again, in the absence of agreement, you're going to have an even split. And this may not work for you in the case where, say, you wrote the music and now there's going to be five lyricists working on it and you're going to not want to divide your song six ways with them. You're going to want 50% for the song and you're going to want to give them just uh, divide the other 50% between and among them. So that's an issue that comes up sometimes. Generally, like I said, uh, we recommend that you get something in writing and try to do it contemporaneous with when you're working together. That's always best rather than let everybody leave the room and then there might be a disagreement. Um, and regardless of how many parties there are, it needs to total up to 100%. So however you divide it, as long as it comes out to 100%, you should be okay. Um, again, generally, I recommend um, that you uh, not sign anything other than an autograph unless you have a lawyer look at it first and confirm that everything's on the up and up. Thanks.